Good day, ladies and gentlemen. So today we're going to be having a brief overview of network. So to begin with, let's think about the, what is a network. Well, if I have a single computer that's not connected to any other computers, that's called standalone. A computer that, or a device that is connected to other devices is called networked. And the connections between the devices, well, we call those links. Now, a network is a system of links that connect computers together and allow them to communicate. So what do you need to make a network? Well, you need at least two devices. You need to have something on each device that allows them to, to talk to other devices. And in most cases, that's called a network interface card. Now, each device, in order for it to use a network interface card, will have a piece of software called a network interface card driver that is specific to allow the device to talk to that individual card. So if you change your NIC card, then you need to change your NIC driver. In between each of these two devices, we will have something called a transmission medium. This is the material or the way that the computers are going to communicate. So this is uh, different types, uh, for instance, wired or wireless or radio. Now the transmission medium doesn't connect directly between two devices. It will connect between another device called a switch. And a switch is the piece of hardware that will put all of the devices on a single network. Now the other piece of network hardware that you'll see is a router and a router is a piece of hardware that directs signals between different networks okay so a switch creates the network in in an area so for instance your house and then a router connects your network to other networks so we can think about networks in two different types uh, a network can be described as a lan or a wan now, a LAN, which stands for Local Area Network, is usually a single switch. So there's a single switch, and all of the devices connect to that single switch, and that creates a single LAN. Now, when we can connect all of these LANs together, then we have something called a Wide Area Network, which is a WAN. So your switch connects to a router, and these routers connect all of the other networks together, and then we have a WAN. Now, a LAN usually has a single owner. So, for instance, uh, your house or your company or your school will have a single LAN. But a WAN usually consists of lots of networks connected together, uh, and so it'll have multiple owners. Okay, no one person owns a WAN. So that was a brief overview of networks. In the next video, we'll talk about the advantages, disadvantages, risks, costs, and benefits of the different types of networks. See you all soon.